Hey guys, even here, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about this guy right here, Regan Grimes, and I thought this deserves a separate video, because personally, in my opinion, some of you will disagree, of course, but that's okay, in my opinion, this is probably the most motivating, the most inspiring story that happened in bodybuilding this year, and it basically tells us how much can a physique progress in a year. If you take things seriously, if you click with a good coach, you take some time off, you take an off-season actually, you try to progress your physique, you try to grow, and this is what kind of progress is possible. If anybody was doubting Regan Grimes and was unsure how much did he really progress, well, right now we got the numbers. It's quantifiable. His progress is quantifiable. We can see exactly how much he progressed in terms of pounds. And of course, based on the look, now you can see right here that he looks good, that he looks probably better than ever. But let's actually read what he had to say in the caption here. So he says, update, and his height is 182 centimeters. But then he says, last time I was on stage in my best shape. I was 245 pounds and did back-to-back -back shows after the Olympia and of 2021 in USA, Reno, Egypt and Czech Republic for those who remember. Now this isn't dry stage look, but this is filled up from yesterday's high carb sitting at 274 pounds. Even if we were to pull water and go on stage at 265, that is a 20 pound increase from just two years ago. Also remember, weight isn't everything, but it surely is a good marker of a successful improvement season, or not. Moral of the story is run your own race, focus on you and stay in your lane, and the rest will align. Also, get a coach like Milos that knows what he's doing. Alright, so very, very interesting update, very interesting caption, it really caught my attention. So basically, let's go through what he says. First of all, he says that when he was in, in, in his best shape last time, it was when he was 245 pounds, and it was during the post-Olympia shows in 2021. Those shows were Legion Sports Fest, uh, Prague Pro, and the show in Egypt. Now, I'm sure all of you remember Regan's edition from Legion. Now, this was after the Olympia. Until that Olympia, 2021, Regan was prepped by Dorian Hamilton. Now, this guy is a great coach. Uh, he used to coach Regan. At that time, he's coaching Anton Weant. He's... Uh, he used to coach Quinton Raya, a lot of Canadian guys, this guy is Canadian as well, he runs the HD supplement company line, he's sponsoring Nick Walker, so, you know, very successful name in bodybuilding, but he wasn't really clicking too well with Regan, Regan also said that they developed sort of a too friendly of a relationship, and it's not the same uh, when your coach is not the authority, but is your friend. So after that 2021 Mr. Olympia, Regan Grimes hired Milo Sharcher. They started working together, but obviously Regan was already in shape. He already competed at a Mr. Olympia. It wasn't his best peak. He was kind of smooth, kind of soft. It wasn't a very, very good look. And Regan didn't do that well at that Mr. Olympia. However, after hooking up with Milo Sharcher and doing a peak week with him for the Legion Sports, he brought his absolute best package ever in only one peak week. So Milos really knew how to peak Regan Grimes, how to get him dry and full, as dry as full as possible. And we saw the best version on the stage of Regan Grimes in 2021 Legion Sports Fest. Guys, this was two years ago. Yeah, Regan also competed at Arnold Classic 2022, but he got sick, like really sick, only a few weeks before that show, so that wasn't Regan at his best. His best was Legion Sports, or you can say Prague Pro or Egypt, all those shows are back to back, but I would say Legion Sports is his best look, uh, it was probably the best lighting as well, maybe the best peak, maybe his body was still fresh and so on, who knows, but I would say Legion Sports was his best look, and at that time, he was weighing 245 pounds for a guy of his height once again 182 centimeters which is around 510 that's not very heavy that that's pretty light let's be honest 
And I remember making videos about Regan at that time, and I was saying he needs to be like at least 270, 280 on stage if he wants to be, if he wants to fulfill his maximum, complete potential. And that means being one of the top guys in the world, being one of the top six, top three guys, or even win the Mr. Olympia, because who has better shape, better structure, better silhouette, better proportions, lines, symmetry, you name it. Like, this is really unusual for somebody to have this kind of structure and shape and to be this massive and to have this kind of quality and this bubbliness and everything. It's really, it's really rare. And I believe this guy has the potential to win the Mr. Olympia. I always believed that. But I wasn't sure if he can actually put on the muscle needed. I wasn't sure if he can focus 100%. And even when this prep started, 2023, he didn't look that big to me. He was around 300 pounds. I thought he was gonna go down another 50 pounds or so. I thought he was gonna be at around 245 again or something like that. But apparently he grew. He grew into the show somehow. Maybe he was on a very little gear when he was 300, I have no idea. But apparently, right now, in this condition, that is absolutely comparable to Legion Sports condition, he's 275 pounds, which is 30 pounds heavier than that show, and that is insane. Like he says, if he did a dehydration protocol, he would probably lose another 10 pounds, and he's only like 4 days out of uh, Italy, so let's say he's 10 pounds lighter, guys, that's still 20 pounds, 20 pounds of muscle in less than 2 years. I think that's pretty insane, I think that's pretty cool, and if you guys have kind of like the same issue that he used to have and that I personally have, I compete way too often because I love being in shape, I love all the, all the stuff that goes with prep and stuff like that, but I decided to take some time off, to take like a year and a half to two years off and to try for a pro card in classic physique, but I need to bring up my physique, I, I need to gain more muscle, so this really inspired me a lot when I saw how much Regan actually gained, and I'm not aiming to gain 30 pounds, I know I don't have his genetics, but if I can gain 10 pounds, I would be super happy, and I'm sure many of you are trying to put on that weight, and now you can see it's doable, I mean, you need to take some time off to really focus on growth, and having, a, having the best coach in the world, arguably, in your corner definitely helps a lot. Anyways, as far as Regan's physique right now, as you can see, it looks insane, pretty much. I don't remember Regan ever looking this freaking thick. I don't remember his chest being this big and full. I don't remember his arms being this massive. He definitely did make a lot of progress. It's not just in the numbers. And we also got some kind of, uh, I wouldn't say proof, but it means something when you hear something like this. Let me play this, uh, this video for you. It's a part of Fuad Abiyad's podcast. Regan beat uh, Nathan the last time they competed, and Regan has gotten exponentially better. Whereas, I don't but know... we don't know that. We don't know if he has. Well... I know, I know people like listen, Mike, again, until Mike, you're on Mike, stage, we don't know. Well, listen, Mike's been, Mike Van Wick has been working with him in the gym and Mike worked with him last year before he went to Vegas. And Mike said on this podcast, he's like, he's not the same fucking guy. He's, I, I hope he's not. I hope he, he's better, Mike, he's, he's, Mike he's, said, yeah. Mike basically said to me, what you're seeing on Instagram is looks real and it looks the same in real life, which is a problem because yeah, it, because, because, because he has got, people. because yeah. Regan's got arguably a structure that is, probably one of the best mike said his waist well, yeah. looks like it's this big. all right so you guys heard it well basically we all know what regan is capable of we can all see what kind of genetic material we're talking about here and it seems like this year it's finally starting to happen i mean i'm really excited to see what's actually gonna happen but right now i am predicting that regan is gonna win the Italy pro, and I know how good Nathan Diasha looks like right now, I know he won 9 shows, I know he's a seasoned veteran and that he really has an amazing physique, he can bring crazy conditioning, he has that crazy roundness and fullness, and you know, he has a really crazy shape and stuff, all that, I know, but I think Regan is just gonna be so dominant with his crazy structure, with this much muscle added to this frame, and when Milos picks him, when Milos brings him 
as dry, as full as possible, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be lights out for everybody doing that show. And that's gonna mean Mr. Olympic qualification for Regan at the Mr. Olympia stage. I see this guy cracking the top 10 this year, absolutely. Rafael Brandau last year was top 10, and there were a lot of guys bigger than him. You know, uh, Ian Valier, Michael Crizio, James Hollins, a whole bunch of guys. I mean, there were like 30 guys or even more at Mr. Olympia, and Rafa was, was 10th. And Regan is in that ballpark, right? He's probably even bigger now than Rafael was at the Mr. Olympia. And Regan is probably even more aesthetic. And these days, aesthetics are appreciated, very much so. You know, a nice silhouette, a good structure, small waist, that's very, very appreciated. And as long as he comes in full, big and shredded, he peaks properly, he's not gonna be overlooked. I can imagine, I can see this guy being top 10 at the Mr. Olympia. And I'm not saying 10th, I could see him even higher than 10th. I could see him, you know, potentially 9th, 8th, somewhere in there, maybe, this year. But eventually, if he keeps progressing at this rate, I see that this guy has Mr. Olympia written all over him. He absolutely does have the potential. And right now, it seems like he's going to use it. It seems like he's going to fulfill it. At least, I hope so. We're gonna see what's gonna happen this year, but I'm very excited about the Italy Pro and for this year and Regan Grimes. I think this is a very, very inspiring story and I can't wait to see him on stage, but I'm absolutely sure we're gonna see a Regan Grimes 2.0. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this about bodybuilding, subscribe to this channel. And if you guys wanna show me some love, some support, there is the way. The link is down below in the caption of this video. And you can browse the Old School Labs website and buy whatever supplements you need. Just please make sure to use the code EVAN for 15% discount. And that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.